Hello everyone, welcome back to Juno New Origins, where I'm going to start from scratch as far as the plane is concerned. I think the fact that I used one of the old planes from a previous save as a basis, I just loaded the old shark ones here and then built from there, might have caused some of our problems. So we are just going to say new craft and uh, we are going to reorient this and build from scratch and see if that goes better. Uh, so let me get to work on that. Okay, well, I've got a fairly simple plane here. It should be good. Uh, I've gone with a canard version, and that's not strictly necessary, but it should be okay, hopefully. And we are going with the rocket engine option, because the propellers alone, especially the electric propellers, don't seem to have enough oomph for me, uh, especially since we're trying to complete a, a race in five minutes. So... Yeah, we've got 3.6 minutes of burn time right now. Maybe I'll up that. I, I just reduced the fuel in here. And let's just verify as we drain the fuel. We'll get a little bit more nose heavy. Compared to where we what we are now. So, not by much though. I'll probably move this up a little bit. We could go a little bit more forward swept. Actually, going a little bit more forward swept might be a better idea. The reason for that is because then our roll control surfaces are closer to the center of mass and will then not impart so much other stuff when we try to roll. Um, and they are wings <laughs> and uh, they do have control surfaces, these are roll control surfaces, these are pitch control surfaces, and that's a yaw control surface. So everything seems fine, uh, just to make sure that we don't have any bad mojo, we'll call this something else. Um, airship. <laughs> uh, it's not really an airship, but we can't do proper airships in here, so we can just do... Uh, this is as close to an airship as we can get. It's a ship, then it goes through the air. Alright, so let's see how it goes. Well, I've gone with the larger wing. I mean, uh, normally I would actually make a shorter wing for this, but since we want to be able to land at low speeds, I've gone with a larger wing. And maybe I'll contemplate if landing becomes a problem going to one quarter speed, just so that I don't have to con constantly suffer through this. But, okay, let me just make sure that the vertical stabilizer is straight, yeah. Alright, let's try it. Learning to fly. Well, I said race, but it's just learning to fly. Anyway, let's hopefully get this over with at some point. I don't have a camera. I'll just go with the chase view. I don't know how gingerly I should do this. Okay. Maybe the old landing gear was worse or something. Oh, uh, uh, oh, uh, the stability assist might be fighting against me on that. Okay. Okay, quite the view I wanted. Okay, 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 maybe I want the stability assist, because that's going wild. Uh, I might want to just tune them down a little bit. Okay, okay, whoa, oh, ah, uh, oh. We are, we are going backwards. Um, let me, uh, let, let's retry that. And let me just run through the controls on the ground. Yeah. Th those are smaller than I thought they were. I thought I had those bigger. Let me let me bring this back in. Deflection angle, let's reduce. We'll make them bigger, but I don't want that much deflection. Landing on the runway was always hard in this game. Well, this runway in particular, not the other runways. But... but I do remember planes flying reasonably well. Gotta try it without the SAS or the stability assist. Then yeah, uh, with the... Apparently, updated landing gear going over that bump is not so bad, perhaps. Just 
Just try not to jerk it around too much. Uh, I think tuning the control surfaces down a bit might help avoid stalls and such. So, oh, maybe not. <laughs> okay, maybe not. I take it back. Okay, I'll turn on the stability assist and see. No, it's still... Okay, whatever the little dot said in the... In the dialogue, the center mass and center lift. Th this feels like it's tail heavy right now. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna call that it not giving me the right information. Let's just undo. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to move the wing back. I noticed that. There isn't any aerodynamics on the body yet. Now it's definitely nose heavy. But that doesn't mean that it can never stall. Canard planes can be fickle about that sort of thing too. Okay, now it's handling a little bit better. But uh, I could do with some air brakes. <laughs> uh, we're probably going too fast for me to try to land. Or you know that drogue chute, I didn't put the drogue chute on. Okay, this is much more controllable now. Uh, I hate these checkpoints. Yeah, okay, no, I can't make that. Can I make it by a tail? No. I could probably go backwards. <laughs> uh, turn around down there. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I think I collapsed the landing gear. No! <laughs> Okay, I can belly slide. I can belly slide. We're doing this. No, 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 okay, okay, no, no, we're doing this. Engine gimbal, come on. Okay, go this way, maybe. Oh, no, not the hanger, not the hanger. That could be bad. Oh boy. Oh, why did that lip knock me off? Okay, yes, let's slide back down. Good little plane. Um, okay, maybe the landing gear is okay now. That doesn't help me turn though. Well, I mean, the front, the nose landing gear would. <sighs> Not that. Oh, how am I even going backwards? Hmm? I mean, I'm not complaining or anything, but. That's certainly necessary, because we've got a bad situation up front there. Um, we're probably already too late, aren't we? I have 10 seconds left. I'm too late. No, so close. Have pity on me. Okay, we're going to recover this and retry it. Really though, if old planes are no longer compatible, or old craft files are no longer compatible, maybe there should be a way of marking that. It's one thing if I've got a lot of part mods installed, then with the part mods, of course, I'm responsible for making sure that the part mods are compatible, but if it's stock parts... Oh great, it did that thing again. I guess we're not immune to that. Uh, if it's stock parts, then if they're old, it might be a need for them to be marked that way. I'm trying to slow down here too. This one's too high. Checkpoint 8 is definitely too high. Ah, oh, I didn't make it. 
あーあーあー okay I, I should just go around trying to make it on one of the stuff especially with checkpoint 8 the way, way it is if you want to hit the runway threshold that's a bit too high there's still a very difficult mission rocket missions are easy <laughs> I can I can get to other planets without any problems. Let's just not go so fast. But I definitely think I should just not try and go straight from checkpoint eight to the runway threshold. It's probably a recipe for disaster. No, well, tried not going so fast, but we ended up still going fast. So we have to go around, obviously. Okay. Can't even go slower than this, really. Okay, well, at least that worked. Break. I'm pressing B. I'm pressing B. Okay, at least it worked. Okay. Alright, alright, I can't stop. I can't stop. Uh... We're very slowly falling. Oh. 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 Okay, it's fine. In flight, recover craft. All right, we got that done finally. So, space things instead. Well, maybe we can knock out one of these. 25. I want, well, no, we'll hold off on that. A uh, fast roller, 111 meters per second, but that's, we need a runway for that. We need, a runway for that. I mean a big runway, a flat runway, not a slope. So maybe we'll eventually unlock one of those. The village race I think has to be... I don't even see how it's different than the thing I've already done though. But let's just do that. Uh, that has to be at the village, I mean. That's the reason. So uh, let's do that quickly. In this case, the X car is fine. Or, uh, really, uh, well, we'll strip off the top wheels. Now, where's the slope? Oh no, it toppled! Gosh darn it! Maybe it's the old wheels. Um, okay, let's uh, recover craft and let's get the full X car, the one with the wheels on top instead. Uh, okay, no, 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 no. Okay, back up, back up. Uh, oh gosh, this thing is too powerful actually. We're gonna just do too much damage to ourselves and then explode. Yeah, I, I don't know what difference there is between this and the previous time I had to do all these in under five minutes. Oops. I don't know why it's the same thing twice. They could have picked different spots or something, I don't know. Okay, well... We did it again! Okay. Well, we've done the plane and we've done the car, so... CubeSat mission and then Drew Orbit again? Can we just package those two together? I think so. So two satellites to orbit, and it's basically the same orbit, not even an inclination. So we'll knock those out at the same time. Well, it sort of worked to just let them eject through the fairing, so just gonna put two. 
not available at this position. Only available for parts connected to the side of a fuel tank, huh? Okay, well, we can do that. Oh, no, don't do that. Don't automatically resize that. I need you to be smaller without resizing that. Can you do that for me? Oh. The battery pack is sort of a tank. Can you attach to that? Hard sentries need uh, only the side of a fuel tank, huh? Okay, not even the top of a fuel tank, it has to be the side of a fuel tank. This is the side of a fuel tank. It is! It's the side of a fuel tank! It's just sloping. That's very disappointing. So, there must be some way of doing this. But, I mean, with symmetry. But, I guess I can just plop two of them, but... That's sloppy. Sure, it's just the way I... I'm not understanding here. Okay, but there's two of them. They can eject through the nose cone. I mean, fairings might be a good thing. Uh, you are a serious space game. Where's your fairings? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, okay. Saging looks fine. Uh, we. I don't feel like we need extra power for two cubesats, but maybe we do. This core probably just doesn't need to be so big dry mass wise. We cut it pretty close last time though. Probably stand to be a little bit taller. And more powerful for sure. I gotta tuck that in a bit, it's a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> okay. Alright. Let's try this. Rocket one. Rocket two. Okay, throttle up and go. You want accuracy with this sort of thing. Well, okay, not that one. This one needs to be accurate. That one, plus or minus 103 kilometers. It's basically meh. <laughs> Whatever. I like the minus 103 kilometers. By that logic, you can be suborbital, right? I think it went too steep. So we got two minutes left, 82 seconds to apoapsis. Basically can flatten out if you want that accuracy. Or close to flatten out. Well, 86 is more important to us than 87 because that's the more accurate one. Maybe it meant 1.03 kilometers. Then we'd be in trouble though. I generally don't try to get my orbits particularly precise unless they ask me to be precise. Okay, I think it's satisfied with that. I could probably got a little bit closer than that, but that's okay. And then it's happy with the apoapsis and periapsis, so CubeSat time. Okay, they're off. Okay, well, let's, let's be nice space citizens and retrograde this. Of course, when I say nice space citizens, uh, hopefully we'll end up over water there. <laughs> anyway, we, we're not going to pay attention to that. In flight. Oh, we might be able to recover craft. I don't know. Half the time these things don't explode, but uh, let's just uh, let it destroy the craft. Okay, so that's three, well, four missions done. Uh, this should be a trivial additional one. So... Again, plus or minus 175 kilometers. I don't think that is what you meant. Okay, but that's good money. Uh, we're rolling in dough now. Once I hit the, these uh, rocket missions, we're rolling in dough, really. 
Uh, it's just two cube sets again, so yeah, let's just hurry up with that, because otherwise they might not give me another uh, one of these rocket missions. I think I should probably reset the missions, because we're probably getting too many of the driving ones and flying ones. Learning to fly two, that's just what I need. Anyway, but yeah, maybe I should do those first since they're harder. I think this rocket is just fine. And we've got two CubeSats, so let's go. Okay, here we go again. The hard one is actually the periapsis at 81 kilometers, though. It depends on how we read this plus or minus 98.2 kilometers. But let's say I was trying to hit the 81 kilometers. That's hard because it's so close to the atmosphere. But presumably we don't have to cut it so close. Alright, here we go. We will be aiming for that first, and then just boost up the apoapsis from that. I should. I should keep needing to turn faster, and I don't. Very leisurely. Staging. Okay, 80 kilometers on the apoapsis. I'm interested to see whether this ends up being all right with the... I mean, it's already checked off the apoapsis. Oh, 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 oh. So it's apparently all right with... Okay, um... Okay. The periapsis apparently can be in the atmosphere. So... That's interesting. Well, I don't mind deorbiting the CubeSats if it's happy with that. I mean, the atmosphere is 80 kilometers, right? Anyway. Well, this will surely deorbit too. Alright. Okay, so, I think that's a good run. We did two rocket launches and one plane and one vehicle. So, with those missions complete, we've got another CubeSat mission. Let me see if we can get something else, I don't know. Refresh contracts. Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, it's another cube. it's only one sat. I, I, maybe I should have kept the other one, because at least had more cubes. But, uh, we can combine- let's just accept them. Uh, these are not in compatible orbits though, but... Village race again. Same thing! Just four minutes. I think I already managed four minutes, but I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I managed it in four minutes. So, that's just tedious. None of these are progression missions. Oh, we are definitely gonna go faster than that. Um... The grounded fast roller... Oh, we're not getting any plane missions like this. Uh, refresh... This will not affect accepted, okay. Well, let's... Okay, and let's get shockingly fast, that one I want. Okay, so... We'll see about the vehicle mission next time. Maybe we won't do a car next time. We'll just focus on rockets and planes. But I should keep up with vehicles, but there isn't a pro progression one right now. As far as the tech tree is concerned, we've got 90 points. And uh, we could unlock OP leaf blowers for jet engines. Uh, Off-roader would probably would give us more contracts for vehicles, so maybe we should go for that. Um, displaying orbit lines might eventually be important, though it's fun trying it blind. Uh, and there's also new contracts for that. Uh, probably that involves getting to other, like the moon and all that stuff. Um, and then there's extra contracts for soft landing. So that's a lot to pick from. Oh, we need 200 to get all of them, but really we only can get one right now. I wonder why, I mean, I guess we should try to get to another, like, the moon or something in order to get more science. Anyway, so with those thoughts, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.